I am an owl. I have four children, three baby owls and a baby rat. Well, Pat the rat has no family, so I happily adopted him and now I love him with all my heart. Goldilocks is my pretty little baby girl and Naughty and Greedy are my handsome sons. They're always up to some kind of mischief. Mommy! Talking to Greedy and Naughty anymore. Why, honey? What happened? Naughty and Greedy are now friends with those awful owls in school who used to bully them all the time. They still do, but since they are popular, Greedy and Naughty went and became friends with them and ignored me the entire day. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, Naughty and Greedy, sit down. I should tell you the story about what happened to a flock of sheep when they made friends with a pack of wolves. Yay! Story time! Okay, once upon a time, a pack of wolves were eyeing a flock of sheep for a long time. But these sheep were guarded by some dogs. They sent a messenger to the sheep and asked them to get rid of the dogs who guarded them. What's the use of keeping the dogs that are noisy and always barking? Think of a day when we build a friendship and stay peacefully. You will no longer need the dogs at your service when we become friends. Uh -huh. This is our proposal. Think about it. The sheep were stupid and gullible. They immediately got rid of the faithful dogs who had guarded them their whole lives. Their flock had no one to protect them now and they were in great danger. The wolves did not waste a minute to pounce on them and kill them in no time at all. The sheep suffered because they had exchanged faithful friends for enemies. So the moral of the story is that you should never exchange your friends for enemies. Aha! This is exactly what will happen to the both of you. You will get eaten up, huh? No, no, I hope not. I quite like Naughty and Greedy, even though they tease me all the time. And I am sure they have learned something from the story. Hopefully. Well, have you? Yes, Mom. We are really very sorry, Golds. We should not have left you all alone at school. Yes, Golds. We are sorry. We will never go and talk to those boys again. What if they also eat us up like the wolves? Eee! Who